right, so today I'm going to do a Tumblr inspired hairstyle. Um, I've just added some extensions for some length, so if you want to learn how to do them, just keep watching. So my first Tumblr inspired hairstyle is a pretty braided ponytail style. So you want to take a section of hair at the front of your head and you're just going to do a normal braided stitch. Then you're going to take a section of hair from along the hairline and you're going to add it to the middle strand and cross the outer strands over this. Again, add a section of hair to your outer strand, or to your middle strand, sorry. And cross the outer strands over this. And once more, add a section of hair to the middle strand. And cross the outer strands over this. And you just want to repeat these steps until you reach your ear. And if you find lace braids hard, you could just do a regular three strand braid with a large section of hair. Or you could do French braid, whatever you like. And then when I reach my ear, I'm just going to continue to braid down and then I'm just going to tug on my braid to make it nice and big. And then when you're happy with how your braid looks, you just want to tie it off and we're going to repeat these steps on the opposite side. And then we're going to bring the braids to the back of our head and we're just going to tie these into a little ponytail. Next, we're going to split the remaining hair into three sections and with the middle section, we're just going to join this and the ponytail from the braids and we're just going to tie them into one big ponytail. Next, with the remaining two sections, we're going to tie these into a knot over our ponytail. And then with the ends, we are going to just join them together underneath the ponytail and tie them into a ponytail. And then finally, you could leave the hairstyle like this, but the photo that I was inspired by had a braid in her ponytail. So I'm just going to go ahead and braid my ponytail, tie it off, and that's the finished style. So for my second Tumblr inspired hairstyle, I'm going to do a rosette style. So I'm just going to leave some hair down around my face, and then behind this, I'm going to do a Dutch braid. So you want to divide your hair into three even pieces and bring the outer strands under the middle strand. Then you're going to add a section of hair to your outer strand and bring this under to the middle. And add a section of hair to your top outer strand and bring this under to the middle. Again, add a section of hair to your bottom outer strand and bring this under to the middle. And add a section of hair to your top outer strand and bring this under to the middle. And I'm just going to do this for maybe one or two more stitches. And then I'm going to go back and gently tug on my braid to make it nice and big. Now I'm just going to finish the braid off, so I'm just going to continue to braid down. And then you want to pancake your braid, and I actually forgot what I was doing for a second, so I pancaked it on both sides. But really you only want to pancake it on the side that's closest to your face. And you just want to make sure you pull the strand out a good bit. And then you want to continue to braid down and just keep pancaking the right side of the braid and then tie it off. And this is what my braid looks like. So one side is pancaked a lot more than the other side. And then you just want to get your ends and you're just going to tuck them up and you're going to start to roll the braid up towards your head. And it doesn't matter if the ends are poking out because you could clip them later. So I'm just going to slowly ro uh, roll this up. And don't worry if you don't get it on the first go because sometimes it takes me a couple of tries to get the flower braid to look nice. So I might have to roll it a couple of times. And then when you're happy with how it looks just pin it in place with as much clips as you need. And then we're going to repeat the steps on the other side. So here I'm going to pancake the side of the braid closest to my face. Then I'm going to tie it off and I'm just going to tuck the ends up and roll the braid up towards my head. And finally I just went back in with my 25mm one for my new Me Titan 3 set. And I just loosely curled my hair. And there we have my second Tumblr inspired hairstyle. And for my last Tumblr inspired hairstyle, I'm going to do an off center wavy part and I'm going to do some tight Dutch braids. And if you don't know how to Dutch braid, I'll leave a detailed tutorial up here to um, a previous tutorial I did for beginners. So I've just took my extensions out and I've just dampened my hair a little. And now to do a Dutch braid, um, I'll just explain quickly. You want to divide your hair into three even pieces and you're going to bring the outer strand under the middle strand. Then you're going to add hair to the outer strands and bring them under to the middle. And for this braid, I'm just going to take small sections and I'm going to add them to my outer strands and bring them under to the middle.
Now once you've added in all the hair and you're happy with how your braid looks, you just want to braid the whole way down and we're just going to tie it off and then you're going to repeat these steps on the opposite side. That is my final Tumblr inspired hairstyle. I hope you liked this tutorial guys and if you did, uh, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more tutorials and comment down below which hairstyle is your favourite and if you'd like to see more of these kind of tutorials and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!